Pipeline is, I would say it's about a woman, a teacher and a mother uh, who teaches in the inner city, mm. but wants her son to have a better opportunity. We meet Naya and her son Omari is attending a private school and he's come into conflict. A story about a mother fighting for the future of her son's education in a society that doesn't allow a lot of space for her son to, to be who he is. You know, I think the play has to deal with forgiveness. I think it has to deal with definitely humanizing this, this boy and not seeing him for his actions and understanding that there's a lot of moving parts that led him to this decision. I just love when, when theater really provokes thought. It really has youth sort of thinking about topical issues that are going on. When I first wanted to, to look at this play and program this play, it was actually pre-George Floyd's murder. And it was such an opportunity. I thought it was such a beautiful offering that Dominique Marceau gives us in really looking at the nuances of systemic racism. Somehow, Dominique Morceau manages to get us thinking about big issues in our society. This play does a great job at exploring like what it's like to be to, to live in this body as a young person, to explore it and to battle against a world that has these images of you. I do feel like this play transcends any theatrical devices because it's relatable to older people, younger people, people who have just had children. I think it's important for them as well. I think people are gonna walk in with such different experiences, lived experiences, mm -hmm. that there's gonna be different things that they relate to. There are many different entry points that you can follow but ultimately they come together. I'm excited to share it with all those people who have been waiting to share space with us. And also, wow, this cast is fire. <laughs> I can't wait for that electric experience with everyone together. It's an incredible play. It's a piece that's gonna make you appreciate theater again, remind you why you loved it before, why you still love it, why you're gonna continue to love it.